Hey everyone, so I'm here at one of my local Goodwills today. I'm going to take a look around, see if there's anything worth picking up to resell. Currently I am trying to liquidate a lot that I have because we're moving a thousand miles away or that's what we're planning to do and I don't want to take a bunch of antique and vintage glass with me. Um, so yeah, let's pop in here and see what we can find. It's pretty hot in this car so I'm ready to go. There weren't very many people in the store today. However, they did have signs saying which way you can go down the aisles, which made it a bit difficult when there was already people in the aisles not paying attention to the signs. And you have to go down the aisle one way, meaning you have to look at both sides of the aisle at one time. So I started on the end caps. I have quite a growing collection of these wooden jewelry boxes with pin cushions on top. Even though this one was $4, I thought that was a little high. I picked it up. Walking by, I saw these hand-painted vintage wall plaques. I thought they were really pretty. If they were a little bigger, I might have gotten them. This letter organizer said mail, bills, and other things to ignore. I thought that was really funny. I love these little, I don't know if they're little girls with bonnets or what that style is called, but I've seen people do it a lot on quilts and I'm automatically drawn to them. I picked up a couple of these vintage Christmas boxes. I'm gonna list them on eBay. I thought they were cool. If no one ends up buying them, I'll just keep them. I don't think I'll use them, but I'll make something for Christmas with them. I'm always looking for cross stitch patterns, however not when they're $3 a piece. I couldn't believe that, usually they're a dollar or 69 cents a piece. I did get everyone's comments about how I'm really shaky and I move kind of fast and it makes you dizzy or sick to your stomach. I do want to invest in one of those handheld things that you can film with your iPhone on but right now money's kind of tight I mean I'm trying to save up to move so it won't be anytime soon but I'm gonna try to slow down and just take my time so for right now I'm sorry I would have had another video up for y'all the other day but somehow it got corrupted on my iPhone I'm using my iPhone to record and iMovie to edit, which is really easy to do. However, I don't know how the file was corrupted. I have been drawn to vintage tins a lot lately, and I looked at a couple, however, none of them were truly that old or interesting enough to pick up.
I might need it. I thought these wall candle holder things were cool just because of the style they were in. I've been seeing a lot of brass, I think they're called sconces lately, but none that had a floral design or any real type of design, and I like that. Y'all, take a look at this sign. A woman's fantasy is two men, one cooking and one cleaning. I was so tempted to pick that up. I saw this little Vera Bradley backpack. It felt insulated as if it was like a lunch pack, but it was $3. I saw this box and immediately thought of my mom. She likes weird rustic things with deer on it, but it was too rinky dink to get for her. Then we come to my favorite aisle, the dish aisle. They had some things that were really unique and pretty. However, nothing really stood out to me aside from two little Halloween mugs that you'll see in a second. I had them in my cart thinking about them for a while, but in the end, I decided they weren't old enough to pick up. I have these same style of mugs with the soup recipes on them for sale on my Poshmark currently, but these seem to be from a different time period. They were actually marked on the bottom, made in China with a green stamp. This jar or canister wasn't marked on the bottom, but I did like the Victorian style imagery on the front. I ended up only taking a couple things home with me this trip just because I am trying to condense so I can move. We are trying to sell a lot right now and do it fast so we can move our family about a thousand miles away. So as always, my eBay and my Poshmark will be linked in the description box below if you're ever interested in anything I've picked up or just seeing what I have for sale currently.
This little guy caught my eye. He was actually a McDonald's figurine with a little kid on it. 1996. I would have picked him up, but he had a piece of hair right there on the front of his head that was chipped. I really enjoyed this Crayola tin from 1992. It was worth around $12 to $13 on eBay. I was gonna pick it up, but when I got to the register, I noticed that the lid was bent, so I wasn't really feeling that. Also, this purse, have you ever seen anything so cute? I couldn't find a brand in there, so it's on the cheaper side, but it was adorable. Hey, Jeffrey of Real Nifty Vintage, here's your idea, red, white, and blue glass, and I have to admit, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so back in the car, I only picked up the wood jewelry box that had the cloth on top, because I do kind of have a collection of those, so I'm probably going to keep it, and I bought the Christmas gift boxes because I couldn't find anything about them online and I just think someone would love them. Oh. So I'm going to head home. I have stuff to wrap up and get shipped out today and it's very hot. It is 94 in East Central Indiana. I'm not complaining but yeah and in the video here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. It really means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. If you're interested, you can check out any of my other videos I've posted, which include hauls, thrift with me's, garage sale type things, estate sales, things like that. Um, like always, my Poshmark and eBay will be linked down below. I am trying to liquidate, I am trying to condense because we are trying to move a family of five a thousand miles away down south where it's even hotter so yeah everyone i hope you're enjoying the weather i hope you're all having a great time and staying well and safe out there during these crazy times more crazy stuff's happening but everything is for a good cause have a great day